This story happened many years ago in a little village in Russia. Maria, Ivan, and Sofia made a nice loving family and created many happy memories together. Maria had spent her entire life in a little village in Russia. When she was old enough, she started her own family with Ivan. They both had a beautiful daughter named Sofia. But after a few years later, Ivan became very sick and sadly passed away. After 40 years of marriage, Maria was left on her own. As the years went by and Sofia grew older, she eventually found a man she fell in love with. The two were married, but because of her husband's job, Sofia had to move away from her mother and father. As her new husband had a very important job in the finance industry, so he needed to be closer to the city. At first, Sofia insisted that Maria should move in with her and her husband so that they could look after the older woman. But Maria refused as she didn't want to leave the village that had been her home for her entire life. Luckily, even though she was now on her own, there were still people in the village willing to help her out. She had been a well-loved teacher at the local school during her younger years. When she worked, a man called Dimitri was one of her students, and he often visited the older woman to ensure she was okay. Along with being a handyman, Dimitri also enjoyed going hunting. He would often trek into the nearby forest to find a suitable game to hunt, and he would sometimes share the meat from his skills with Maria. One day, Dimitri told the older woman that he had a surprise for her. Once Dimitri arrived at Maria's house, she soon saw the surprise. In his arms, the hunter was carrying four tiny puppies. He told Maria that he had found them in the forest alone and that their mother had been nowhere inside. Dimitri then explained that while he would be happy to look after them himself, he already had two other dogs at home that wouldn't be too welcoming to the tiny canines. However, he forgot to mention that the small canines weren't actually dogs but werewolf cubs. Maria agreed to take the puppies in herself as she had wanted to get a puppy for a while to keep her company. Dimitri realized that Maria had believed the puppies to be dogs. However, he thought that while they are still young, they would not do any harm and he would find a suitable replacement for them when the cubs were strong enough to survive on their own. Maria cared for the four cubs and loved them all a lot. They created a mess and demanded a lot of food, but that did not stop Maria from adorning them. Maria named the four cubs Teddy, Rascal, Storm, and Mischief. As time went on and the cubs began to grow, Maria began to suspect that they were normal dogs. They didn't look like regular canines as they were much larger, their teeth were much sharper, and they looked wilder. Maria's suspicions were finally confirmed one day when a local hunter walked past and saw the four canines playing together in her garden. He instinctively reached for his gun but was stopped when Maria asked him what he was doing. The hunter then told the older woman that the four animals she had weren't dogs but wolves. Maria was shocked by the news but she wasn't afraid. She loved all of her pups equally. So Maria and the four wolves lived happily for the next year. The canines were loyal to Maria and guarded the home just like a dog would. One cold fall evening, there was a knock on Maria's door, wondering who it could be. The older woman opened the door only to be confronted by three strange men. One of the men was holding a gun which he immediately pointed at Maria. He threatened that he would shoot her if she didn't hand over all of her money and valuables in her home. The canines realized that Maria was in danger and quickly jumped into action. With the men confused and scared of what was happening, Mischief, Rascal, and Storm jumped at them and bit their legs and ankles. Meanwhile, Teddy ran over to Maria and jumped in front of her protecting her from the men with a gun. While the wolves fought, the elderly lady snuck into her bedroom and called the police. Just as she finished on the phone, a gunshot rang out throughout the home, followed by an animal's cry. Maria rushed back into the living room where she saw Teddy huddled on the floor with a bullet wound in his hind leg. One of the men had managed to hurt the poor animal. Frightened by the weapon's noise, the three men tried to run for it, but as they exited the house, they found themselves surrounded by the police. They were quickly arrested and thankfully, she got Teddy some help, and the wound healed. Over the next few weeks, news of the four wolves' heroic deeds soon got around, but for Maria, their new fame didn't matter. She loved them just like any other dog, and they love her just as much in return. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.